Hey guys, welcome to day number 20, 21 of the 30 day practice blueprint. Um, I'm excited about today. I wish I had this. I wish I had someone that would show me this. Uh, I'm going to share this with you. Uh, and I, this is going to kind of merge a little bit of the durable medical equipment. And, and we're going to talk today about in office procedures. Um, what are different types of procedures? We all can do a lot of different types of procedures. Sometimes we don't do procedures because we don't know they exist or we don't know that we can bill for them. OK, uh, there's a couple of them. For example, um, I was dealing with like fractures before I know there was like a procedure fracture code that you can use. Um, the, the easiest way for me to kind of share patients, share about procedures with patients is doing my doing the presentation, showing them uh, images of what things look like. Um, so um, but I'm going to go over a few of my favorite ones, my favorite like 80, 20 procedures, the ones I do the most. Uh, the first one would be like a, a incision and drainage or perinicchia. Second would be a matrixectomy. I do a ton of those. Uh, quick key, we pre-draw all of our anesthetics. We do use a one-to-one -one mixture of 1% and half percent. Um, I do in office. Um, uh, selective plantar fascial releases for like ulcers and things like that. I'll do a flexor tenotomy with an 18 gauge needle. I also do that for the fascial releases with an 18 gauge needle on a, on a syringe. Um, I'll do cortisone and I'll pre-draw those up. Um, and all of those types of procedures, I have a two week follow-up for them as well. Just so you guys, we talk about never just leave them PRN. I always have them come back at least once. Um, a couple of other tips for in office procedures. I do like a smile, like a nice little smiley face. I dry it with a Sharpie. Um, and then I have like, like that post-op sticker thing that I use on my business card. I'll put a little link underneath here. You can download that, what that post-op sticker looks like. Okay. And then all my staff, they'll, they'll go over like the, the post-op kit that people are going to get if they do like a nail procedure or a wart procedure or any type of procedure or other types of uh, wound gel stuff that we, we sell in the office. Okay. But what I want to really get into today, let me just share my share my screen here is I, I wish I had this when I was starting out here. Uh, these are, this is the presentation I do for ingrown toenails. Uh, not so much, you know, showing about ingrown toenails. We know all this stuff. We, we share this with patients. A couple of things that I offer uh, in the office is a procedure called uh, OniFix. Basically, it's this little piece of plastic that I put over the top of it, and it helps to grow out straight. So I talk about removal matrix or OniFix. It's kind of a neat, a neat idea for ingrown toenails. So I'll show them that. Uh, this is also something I also do. It's called carry flex. I'll add a fake toenail on the top as well. So there's a couple of things and I show them pictures and then they can, uh, they can decide if they want to do that. So same thing with nail fungus. That's where I'll show the picture of the, the, the carry flex that goes on top of it. So those are a few of the procedures that I do in the office. But what I really wanted to show you guys today, this is actually from my EMR. So remember a couple of days we talked about uh, durable medical equipment. So here are the templates that I have. So for example, I have uh, different braces that I do. So here's an Arizona AFO. It's a dispensing note. It's a meso dispensing note, optima dispensing note, blaze, medial instability brace, dispensing note, cuboid lock, dispensing, dorsi assist, exoform brace, which is just an ankle brace, uh, a more balanced brace, a Ritchie uh, brace, uh, standard Ritchie, a velocity, that's that ankle brace that has like an orthotic in it. Uh, so those are the, the DME Template. So let me get, show you guys what they kind of looks like. It says here, and I'll, I'll put these um, on the DME section. Okay. So patient was seen in the office for dispensing of this brace for the right or left foot. And uh, it talks about how they would break into it. Okay. So that's for the AFOs. Now talking about procedures, we have the same thing here. Um, and I'll, I, I guess I can put these, if you guys are interested, let me know if you want these. Okay. This is going to take me a lot of time to copy and paste these <laughs> into a document. But if you guys want these, I'll put these, I'll put these in your, someone say yes. Before I do it, you have to say yes. Okay. Hey doc. Yeah, I want those. Um, so what this is here, which is going to be a pain in the, unless you just want to join Athena and I'll you can just transfer them over. If you already have Athena, just like reach out to me and I'll give you my, my, my practice code, which is this one number up here, 10827. And then you can just say, I'll give you access to my stuff. So here are the different types of procedures we do. So amnio injection, uh, and this is my actual content. I put in here where it was done, right or left foot, how much CCs, what type of stuff I put in there, things like that. Um, aspiration of assist, bracing, brace casting, cantherdin for, for warts, cast application, non-weight bearing or weight bearing, chemical, chemical cauterization. Uh, this is the laser treatment of nails, which I don't do that much of. Laser treatment of warts, which I do more of. Okay. 
debridement, different levels of ulcer debridement. Uh, they declined the DME. This is something for staff when they decline it so we can document. So I recommended it, but they declined it. That's something important for DME. I should have talked about that two days ago. Uh, focused shockwave radial combo. Um, we used to do more of this stuff. We don't do epifix much. Uh, excisions of like ganglions of wart lesions, excising them in the office, excision of wound closer, uh, exostectomy, which is those like bone spurs on the on the metatarsals that we 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 um shave down. Uh, exostectomy of a partial phalanx. That's like the the kissing corns between the toes. Um, flexor tenotomy. I do this one a lot. Flexor tenotomy for hammer toes. Uh, right here. As a, sorry, this is an extensor tenotomy. I do more of a flexor tenotomy. Foreign body removal, simple or complicated. Usually complicated, you have to put them on antibiotics. That's why I put that. Um, this is something I didn't use until the last few years. These are fracture codes. So if you see a fracture, um, it has a longer global period, but you get paid a lot more. So I would use these fracture codes if you don't know those. Um, here is a hardware removal. Sometimes we do that in the office if we have the right screwdriver. Incision and drainage of uh, ingrown toenails or infections of hematomas of ganglion cysts, uh, injection of large joints, um, neurolysis, um, neuroma injections, scar injections, injection of, we don't do much sclerosing anymore, but we have this, this is an older one. Injection of, most of my, that I do are small joints. Um, I'll do tendons, a tendon sheath, like for plantar fascia. There's trigger point uh, in diagnostic injections, like of the, of the ankle of the subtalar joint um, to see if they have, how bad the arthritis is. Trimming of keratomas. Uh, this is a skin, synthetic skin graft. Uh, Cariflex, a destruction of lesions. This would be wart lesions. Uh, laser treatment for onychomycosis, matrixectomy, total. Uh, nail avulsion, partial nail avulsion, nail biopsy, punch biopsy, nail debridement. Needle aspiration, onifix, orthotic casting, dispensing, scanning, pad net study, PRP. We don't do that much anymore. Here's more fungal lasers for nails, for pain, for Veruca. We don't do, I don't do much pain. Um, and then uh, for wounds, page number two, scar laser. This is something that's kind of neat. If you have a, a painful scar, we have a laser, we have the Qterra that you can use on that. Selective plantar fasciotomy. That's where I use the 18 gauge needle. And I just cut through that to help just on, on a part if needed. Uh, we used to do shoes. So here's the shoe dispensing shoe return. That's why we stopped doing shoes. Uh, skin biopsy. I do a lot of uh, two millimeter punch biopsy. So I'll do single and additional a curette. Sometimes we'll do between the toes. If I'm doing a biopsy between the toes um, of uh, like, if I'm thinking of it's tinea, I'll send that off. Shave biopsy. I don't do many shaves. Splint applications, we, uh, strapping of toes. So doing like a, a hammer toe strapping, uh, strapping for arthritis, hammer toe, toe fractures, uh, subungal hematoma, um, I think that's probably um, draining it. Um, surgical procedures, syndactylization. We don't do that in the office. Um, we used to do transderm. We don't do that anymore. Trimming of nails, unaboot application, and then venous stasis, uh, unaboot. So we do unaboots. So that's great. You know, if you guys want them, I'll, I'll do them. I guess if you're watching this later on, you're going to know if I did it or not, because they'll be underneath here. If, if people ask, if people don't ask, I'm not going to do it because it saved me a lot of time not to do that, but that is cool. Those are all the procedures we do. I think procedures are fun. I love doing procedures. So we have a lot of them for a lot of different things. If you're not using the fracture code, I would, I would start doing that one uh, and, and trying these other, other procedures. Uh, once again, I think uh, procedures are very, very helpful to our patients makes kind of the practice more fun. And um, you have to have know which ones you typically do for different diagnoses. So once again, hope you guys found that helpful. Um, uh, specifically in the DME section, I'll put some of that, those templates uh, in the DME section. Okay, guys, good. Uh, have a great day. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments underneath it. If you have a friend that would benefit, put their email. I'll send this to them. And then I'll give you guys a special bonus. I actually made that bonus. So it's done. Okay, thanks, guys.